What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today i'm going to show you one of my favorite venusaur decks this deck is deadly and you are definitely going to be stomping people in battles so let's come to um our decks my decks and i was very very witty on how i named my deck my venusaur um so let's show you the um the pokemon that we're using so we've got a oh wait first of all we just need to Go to our grass type Pokemon. So we've got two Bulbasaurs, two Ivasaurs, two Venusaurs. And then we've got two Petil and two Lilligants. And then you can see we've got uh, one Bulbasaur at the bottom. My favorite card, by the way. Um, watercolors, just on point. It's just absolutely stunning card. My absolute fave. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're running. And Venusaur and Lilligant work so well together. So Lilligant, um, basically, if they are in the active spot, they are going to put energy into our Venusaur because Venusaur needs four energy to start popping off. And that's quite a lot. Um, Venusaur is a great card. Tanky, deals damage, and does the self-healing. An absolute beast. A little tricky to set up. But um, with this team comp, you should have no problems. And then I'll show you the support cards as well. Or trainer cards. So we've got two Erica's, one normal Erica, one fancy Erica, uh, two Sabrina's. Just gives us a lot of control. If they've got a deadly card in front, we can swap it out for one of their weak cards on the bench and then just drop it with Venusaur. Um, and then we've also got X speed as well, gives you some control. So if you do want to swap someone out, you do have that ability. Um, Professor Oak and Pokeballs, they are always going to be the core of our team. They're two of the strongest cards in the game. Pokeball just going to help us get, you know, draw an extra card, help us get a basic Pokemon that we need so we can build up our Venusaur. Professor's research is just crazy good. You know, be able to draw two extra cards it's a real game changer you know hopefully it's going to get us that venusaur or ivasaur that we need to sort of build up our team or even maybe just pull an erica because we need some healing um yeah just a crazy good card and then red card is one of my favorites you know if they've got a, if they've got like a team where they also need to build up their cards like for example like a dragonite deck you can completely screw them over by dropping that red card and just taking away all their good cards and then just giving them three left over. I guess, it, you know, and it can be just used in so many different ways. I'd say ideally you want to wait for at least five plus cards and then you can really like, you know, just take away all their cards and give them basically nothing. Um, but it doesn't always, you know, it's situational and the more you play with it, the more you'll get comfortable with it. So we've sort of talked about the deck. Now let's get in some battles. Come on, Tony, show me what you got. So we're going first and we've got Bulbasaur sweet I'm just hoping we can sort of start popping off I mean Bulbasaur is pretty strong 70 HP and we've also got 40 damage from our Vine Whip but you need two lots of energy um it's a shame with Ivasaur as well Ivasaur is hard to sort of start getting to pop off so we're going to drop our Professor Oak card first and there we go, we've got Venusaur already. Uh, let's drop a Pokeball as well. And sweet, there's a Bulbasaur as well. So I'm not sure how I'm going to play this. I might... There's sort of two routes. Obviously, I've got Venusaur who's, who's already out there. And I can sort of invest in him. Or I can just keep my Bulbasaur that I've got here. Go Ivasaur and Venusaur and just basically just start putting energy into this I've Bulbasaur on the bench right now. So that's kind of my two options. I've also got Erica for some solid healing as well. Okay, so he's going to go for four. And the other thing as well is that with all this as well, he loses two energies as well. So yeah, I know sort of the deck that he's going for as well. I feel like the right way is to start building on the Venus or on the bench. So we're going to see how things go. We've also we've got two Ivasaurs. Might as well try and stall the fight just a little bit and we're going to hold off for now 
But yeah, Mewtwo, I actually pulled Mewtwo today. Mewtwo is such a sick card. Like the artwork, it's actually a really strong card as well, like 150 damage. Um, but yeah, they use this strategy where when you fully evolve your Routus, um, I think it's Garv Garden Gardenor or something. Um, basically, they have this ability where you can attach energy and they will just constantly do that onto uh onto Mewtwo. So basically you don't have to worry about, you know, that you're discarding two cards. And this this is like a real meta deck right now. Um, but yeah, we're still good. I could let's heal up uh Ivysaur. Just means that we get another sort of turn of like shield for Venusaur. So I'm just gonna hold off for now. And I could have been really annoying actually. I should have maybe used Sabrina to to swap out. Um, but that's cool. Oh, they're going to put my Venusaur into play. That's interesting. That is interesting. So 50 damage. Wow, we're in a little bit of the danger zone right now. Okay, so gonna drop Petil. I am gonna drop Sabrina. I don't think it really matters to be honest. Like this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Yeah, so we're gonna hold off for the red card right now. I'm gonna raise a leaf. And yeah, just hopefully if we can just get that extra turn, we can start to do some healing. So let's just see. So basically we do 30 um, heal to ourselves. We're doing 100 damage. We've got 190 HP. So yeah, Venusaur really tanky. I mean, does some solid damage, but also just can sort of keep yourself going. So hopefully we're not going to lose. I mean, this Mewtwo deck right now is probably, it's probably one of the strongest and it is so meta. So yeah, hopefully... Oh, that's cool. Um, so let's put in a teal. We don't mind if we lose Petil. Okay. So we can have two Venusaurs. Sweet. Um, so yeah, we're gonna drop some energy on our on our main Venusaur. And then what we're gonna do is we'll just start obviously putting energy into the second Venusaur. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this fight. It's a little bit up and down at the moment. I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully we can still get that W. Playing a really interesting deck. Um, personally, I wouldn't be using sort of Gengar, Gardener, and and Mewtwo. I'd probably have just two Mewtwo's and two Gardeners. Um, but obviously, that's what they're sort of rolling with. So let's just have a look. So. We can we will survive. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna swap out Petil with Venusaur, and you know X speed is really coming in clutch right there. So we're gonna swap that out. We're not gonna red card just yet. We're still gonna hold on to that. We're gonna do Giant Bloom. That's Pidgeot gone. So that's one nil to us. We're up one, and we've got 170 HP. That is not enough for Mewtwo to kill us. Um, and we should have a pretty solid chance of trying to, of winning this fight. Uh, it's still a little bit up in the air, to be honest. Just as long as he doesn't get like a gardener, we should be okay. So what, what does Gengar, what's Gengar, oh, okay. That, now we're in trouble. Let's look at Gengar's ability. Shadowy Spellbind. As long as this Pokemon is the, in, is in the act, is what you cannot use a park card. So... We're pretty okay at the moment, but does some 100 damage, 170 HP. Nice. So, yeah, this is where we're sort of stuck a little bit. I'm going to drop Lilligan right now. Um, yeah, so we can do 100 damage to, to Mewtwo, so that's pretty solid. Um, 
but that's going to be the issue is I don't think like that Mewtwo is popping off right now. I don't think we can win this one. Oh, that's just so hard. Like, yeah, literally I, this, I feel like all I would do is fight against Mewtwo at the moment, but I'm hoping, hoping we can turn this round. He's going to retreat with his Mewtwo. That's interesting. And they gave up. Okay. Um, that was an interesting one. I feel like they could have actually beaten us there. Um, I don't know why they gave up, but yeah. Venusaur doing work. X speed, actually, you know, that did come in clutch right there. So let's let's go for one more. See if we can get a solid fight. But yeah, Mewtwo decks are hard. All right, guys. Fight number three. And another player. Whose, whose name I have no idea how to say. Oh, so they're running. They've got Erica as the icon. Going second. You know it's my favorite. Oh, and they've got... That's an interesting card sleeve. Um, okay. Oh, so we're going to put Patil out front. And we're going to put Bulbasaur on, on our bench. This is probably one of the best sort of starting hands you can get. So if we could drop Lilligan, we can start to empower our Bulbasaur. Just need, I guess the only thing that would make this better is if we had like maybe Professor Oak. Um, but it's not a bad sign hand at all. So they can do 40 damage to us. And we've got 100 HP with Lilligant. Sweet. We, we got, okay, so we just have to sort of invest in Petil at the moment. Like in the long in the long run of things, this would definitely help us. It's gonna be a hard fight. Obviously, fire has a massive advantage over us. Over grass, it's always gonna be that way. But I'm just hoping we can win. This is like it's gonna be like a bane deck to me. So you run Night Tails, Rapidash, and Bane. Um can like really just blast through people. Um if we can just get Actually, we're going to drop Sabrina in a second. Yeah, we're going to drop Sabrina. And hopefully Ninetales comes into play. Just see what they do. Okay, they swapped out opponent of Ponyta. That's cool. Going to drop out Ivysaur. We're going to hold on to Erica for just to, you know, try and help. I have a sword. Stay alive. And yeah, then of course we're going to put energy into Ivasaur. And we've basically got sort of. Ooh, oh, that's Lily Gang down. Maybe, maybe I should have used Erica. Uh, yeah, I definitely messed that up, guys. This is going to be a real hard one to win. I mean, a fire is always going to be a hard matchup. And another Petil's not, not really going to save the day. But what we can do is we can drop Venusaur. So Venusaur, obviously 190 HP. We only need... I'm going to drop Petil. Well, there's no point in dropping Petil, to be honest. But we only need another card to get that Razor Leaf popping off. And that will... You know, that'd be Rapidash gone. So that's 40, 30, plus 20. So that's 90, 90 damage, I reckon. Quick maths. Yeah, so 90 damage. So we're going to take out Rapidash. I mean, if we win this, uh, I'm going to be very impressed with myself. So we're going to drop Erica for that healing. So that's 150 HP. We should be okay. I've got a feeling there's going to be another Bane in the deck who could definitely drop us. Um, it's just Nine Tails is what we got to watch out. Nine Tails. Nine Tails is really strong. Um, low HP, but a lot of damage. 90 damage. Um, you do lose one energy for it, but um, I think it's worth the cost. She is a strong card. So Giovanni, so that's 100 damage. We've got 50. Um, the only good thing is... 
Oh, 120 damage. Yeah, so we... Okay. No, because if Phoenix War goes, we lose anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to red card them anyway. Just uh, get rid of all those Pokemon cards. And hopefully, hopefully screw them over. So we're going to get... We have 60 HP. And that is just enough to survive Ponyta. It just comes down to if they have Rapidash or not. If they got Rapidash, it's game over. We've lost. But this is the comeback of the century. Like, seriously, I was like, a fire deck, like a grass deck to beat a fire deck is pretty insane. And this is a, this is a, this is like a genuine deck. Um, it is so good for rushing people and just catching them out by surprise. So, yeah, it looks like we are going to get that W. And... Oh, that's cheeky. That is a cheeky little play right there. Um, so that for those that don't know, Volpix can basically flip a coin and you cannot attack your next turn depending if it's heads or tails. Yes. A bit of RNG in our flavor. Drop, let's drop another. And there we go. Venusaur coming in clutch. That was probably the best example of how strong Venusaur is. But yeah, that was that was a really, you know, that was really, really fun. Um, absolutely love this deck. There are some variations around it. Obviously, you will always have two Bulbasaurs, two Ivasaurs, and two Venusaurs. I'm gonna try out some other decks as well. Like um, I think Executor is probably one of the strongest ones. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop some comments below, let me know what you guys think. And also, don't forget to drop that cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.